The Chagrin River Watershed Partners, a nonprofit organization that helps municipalities manage erosion and flooding, is sponsoring a program for homeowners within the Newell Ward Creek watershed. The issue with these urbanized areas is that um, there is a lot of impervious surface out here. A lot of this is already built up. There isn't really a lot of opportunity to have a really natural stream corridor, and a lot of this stream's issues come from the surrounding development. So we have to work with what we've got. We have to look at the surrounding development and think of ways to retrofit that development to improve the stormwater management on site. Stormwater that flows directly into a storm sewer or stream from parking lots, roofs, and driveways causes erosion and adds pollutants to our waterways. These flow directly into the Chagrin River and ultimately Lake Erie. We're incentivizing residents within the Ward Newell Creek watershed to plant rain gardens, shade trees, and install rain barrels on their homes. Um, these methods will allow residents to manage their stormwater on site instead of having it run off into the nearby creeks and streams. The program is funded by a grant from the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative with a goal of reducing the water entering Newell Creek to improve water quality. The Newell Ward Creek watershed encompasses a large area of Menor near the Great Lakes Mall. Basically what we do is we come out and we'll look at your drainage. Uh, we look to see if your downspouts are connected versus disconnected, where the difference there is, is that if your downspout is connected to the ground, it goes directly to the storm pipe. Um, and we look to try to disconnect that downspout uh, and maybe direct it to a splash block or direct it ideally to a rain garden or put a rain barrel on to kind of catch that first flush of stormwater off your roof. Um, and what we're trying to promote here is the, the philosophy of slowing it down, spreading it out, and soaking it in. Giving the stormwater time to work, to soak in naturally, to recharge the groundwater, to do what it was meant to do before all of this development came in. We'll basically provide you with a free rain garden kit, you get the plants for free, or a free rain barrel that you can assemble at a workshop and then take home and install yourself, uh, or we provide you with a shade tree that you can plant in your yard. Something as simple as installing a rain barrel or planting a garden or a tree can have a very positive impact. The benefits of a rain barrel is that they, they, it controls that what we call the first flush of stormwater. The first flush of stormwater is that initial rush off the roof. It takes most of the pollutants, most of the contaminants that are in the stormwater. And so minimizing that initial impact to the streams is very important. A rain garden functions and looks much like normal landscaping, except what it does is, is it's designed to contain the stormwater and detain it temporarily. Uh, a well-designed rain garden will only have standing water in it no longer than 48 hours before it is supposed to drain through, and it basically gives that stormwater a chance to soak into the ground before it hits your storm drain. Every tree in and of itself is, is inherently beneficial to stormwater management. Trees do a lot of work for you. They uh, are thirsty, they soak up a lot of water. For more information about the Newell Ward Creek Stormwater Program, call Christina Zidnarsik at 975-3870. If you can get enough people in the area on board with this and putting these practices in, you can make a significant difference throughout the watershed.